Hey guys, back with a follow-up video on this RX 460 2GB DDR5 graphics card. Um, I did a good bit of complaining about this bracket yesterday. Um, about how it lined up. Well, it didn't line up and it blocks the HDMI port. Um, you know, as some reviewers pointed out on Amazon, it would be an otherwise great budget gaming graphics card for a low profile, low watt system. Um, the system I'm going to be putting this in has about a 240 watt PSU and I need that HDMI port available and I need this low profile bracket so uh, as my good friend Magman pointed out in the comments of the video that I made about this card I'm going to be using the Dremel to hopefully adjust that over and uh, make for a better fit and then I'm going to share the link to the video on Amazon and see if they delete it or not but uh, I'm a Dremel my safety glasses, so the only thing left is to take the bracket off and then make the adjustment. Alright, so I got the bracket off. I'm going to be coming at it from this back side um, because I don't want to run into the, the bracket, so I'm going to take it from this back side and I'm just going to try to bring this one edge um, over just a little bit farther uh, towards the towards the bracket itself, the end of the bracket. So. Um, I'll put my safety glasses on. Always wear your safety glasses. Looks like my cutting wheel is about just the right size, so I'm going to go for a low RPM. Just going to very gently go at it here. All parts being cheap, aluminum, this thing's going really easy. Careful not to cut your fingers. I'll turn up the RPM a little bit. All right, let's try that out and see how it works. All right, there you have it. Um, after just that one slight modification with the Dremel and that little bit of work, uh, there's no real noticeable difference in the bracket. Um, it still looks a little unaligned, but as you can see now, we can plug the HDMI cord in with no problem. Um, you know, if you don't have a Dremel to do this with, a small file would probably work. It'd be a lot cheaper. It wasn't very much work to get that over. Uh, borrow your dad's Dremel, or this might be a good excuse to buy one. But um, either way, I can now use this in my low-profile, low-wattage system with the HDMI cord. And uh, plan to do so. Uh, thanks, Mad Magman, for the tip. And uh, that's all it takes.